Hi, a little disclaimer before starting the video. I purchased this tablet in hopes of using it for OSU gameplay, so the unboxing and review will have a lot of explanations and references to the game. With that said, if you wish to learn more about the specifics of this tablet in regards to drawing and painting, feel free to look for other videos because my review will not have any information regarding that. But at least I hope the unboxing will be interesting enough for you. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Haha Bear. Um, today I'm going to show you this tablet called CTL472, also known as One by Wacom. Um, before we get started, let's just get rid of this ugly sticker. Um, it's a seal of authenticity that's supposed to uh, stay there so that I can get the warranty, but uh, I'm just gonna put it on the back side. Okay, that's much better. Um, so, just as I said, this is going to be One by Wacom also known as CTL472 and um, as the name suggests this is going to be the uh, predecessor of the well-renowned question uh, mark CTL471 of which that I have actually never used um, I only use CTL480 uh, from Wacom I have used um, several different tablets from XP Pen, um, Gaomon, Huion um, but I actually this is my second Wacom tablet other than the CTL480. The CTL480 I've used it ever since I began playing Osu. Um, two weeks into the game I decided that I wanted to just get a tablet so I ordered CTL480 online Amazon which was about three years ago and then I used it for about a year and then that's when I started to um, open my eyes towards other tablets a little bit more uh, such as XP Pen G430, G540 uh, Gaomon S56K and even Osu tablet. So here I just opened up the um, internal box that exposes the uh, tablet body. So instead of actually being smart and trying to pull the uh, little plastic cover slash tab in front of the uh, tablet, I just went ahead and tried to like fiddle with it and just flip the entire box upside down. Um, well, it still got the job done except for you know me dropping that precious thing over there. Uh, we'll get to that later. Uh, first we're gonna see the tablet body and as expected of the uh, CTL472 which is basically the predecessor of CTL471 um, it's actually pretty small and thin. Um, the thickness is supposed to be 8.7 millimeters or 0.3 inches in freedom dimensions. Uh, this is the back of the tablet. Um, it says 1 by Wacom once again. Um, well, wait, I could actually write my name there. It says your name. That's very interesting. Um, oh yeah, so that's the uh, tablet body. Nothing too special, so I'm just gonna set that aside. And um, we also have the tablet pen, but that's like the most important thing, so we're gonna get to that later. We have this little goodie box thingy. Um, basically one of those like startup guides, so we're just gonna take the plastic off. And as you can see, um, this is a quick start guide. Um, tells you how to connect the tablet. It also tells you how to remove and replace your pen nib if you need to know about that. Um, this is basically like all the uh, technical slash um, like important information about the tablet. Not really too interested either. And um, yeah, there's nothing on that cover. It was just like a placeholder. Get the plastic aside. Now we have the um, thing that we dropped earlier. Uh, it's the uh, pen nib plus the uh, pen nib remover and of course the um, USB to tablet connector. And interestingly enough, um, its length, the uh, cable length, was not actually specified inside the product page. All the um, other things such as like even the pen weight, um, the length of the tablet, the width, the thickness and everything else was listed but not the uh, length of the cable. And I was actually kind of concerned so I was trying to figure out what I should do. And I didn't have like a long ruler so I just went ahead and folded this cable up three times which makes it one eighth of its actual length and I measured it to be around 10.5 to 11 centimeters times it by 8 which makes it about slightly less than a meter um, some error here and there but that should be around like a meter long um, this is the uh, pen nib remover and then the pen nib uh, it's kind of unfortunate that they didn't really like go with the uh, usual CTL480 method of having your tablet body like if you open up the uh, back side of your tablet body you would have like a pen nib remover 
and the pen nibs store in there but that is not the case for this model you just have these pen nibs by themselves in like a separate plastic bag that is pretty much it for the all the other accessories now we should get into the uh, main event which is the uh, tablet body and then the tablet pen first let's look at the tablet pen um, while i struggle to take out oh there we go um, the tablet pen is here this is a wacom ctl 472 tablet pen i was told that this will be the exact same model as the uh, tablet pen for ctl 471 it's pretty light it's a lot lighter than i thought and then for some reason the front button felt a little bit more clicky than the back button, although it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And of course, as I was uh, weighing this and feeling it, I actually had to bring my CTL 480 pen for comparison. So yeah, this is my uh, CTL 480 pen. I use this for lots of purposes. Uh, of course, the um, CTL 480 pen is slightly longer because of its erasers, but um, otherwise it should be exactly the same length. And weight-wise, the CTL 472 pen weight was a lot lighter than the CTL 480 pen weight. Um, the CTL 472 pen is supposed to weigh 9 grams, and CTL 480 pen is supposed to weigh a lot more than that. And of course, because we brought CTL 480 pen, I decided to bring my G430 pen for comparison. Uh, my G430 pen is actually like an older version, so its surface is a lot smoother than like the newer versions. Um, other than that, the pen should be the exactly same weight and the length as compared to the uh, newer model. And this uh, G430 pen pretty much weighs almost the exact same as the CTL472 pen. Okay, now that we have gone through all the accessories, let's um, get rid of this box here and then go to vacations. I will leave the link to the uh, tablet product page, um, the Wacom website one, in the video description so you can go ahead and check that out. And before you use this tablet, you'll have to download the driver. So just Google Wacom, go to the web page, and then if you go to products and find one by Wacom, it will redirect you to CTO 472 page, um, in which you can go ahead and click getting started. And then it will basically tell you what to do. You can connect the tablet and then download the uh, driver. You can have Windows and Mac driver. I already downloaded the uh, Windows driver and I already have it installed. So I'm going to go ahead and click that right now. Um, it says greetings. It's all in Korean, but um, basically like it wants you to create an ID. I'll just skip that. Uh, Web page popped up. Pretty much like advertisement. I really don't need that. Okay. My driver, the newest driver, 6.3.25-5. And then you can go to pen settings, you can go to mapping, and then pretty much uh, this is where all the magic happens. You can disable Windows Ink by clicking the checkbox on the bottom left. Um, basically the monitor, uh, force proportions by checking it on. I tend to leave it on. Um, now we can go ahead and select uh, how much of an area that you want to use on tablet. Uh, the default is a bit too big for me to use. So I'm going to go ahead and just change it. But for now, that's uh, the tablet driver. I'm going to go ahead and change the settings, uh, get back on Osu, and then see how it is. I'll be right back. Hi. Uh, first of all, I apologize for speaking over the Osu Live Play video, but I felt that it would be necessary for me to do a review slash wrap up here so that the video doesn't drag on for too long. Okay, with that said, um, here are some important things that I wanted to mention without any particular order of importance. Um, first of all, I spent about 6 plus hours on this tablet. Um, I made sure that my tablet area was also the exactly same as my main tablet, which is a G430. And the reason why I did that was because um, as long as the tablet area is the same, um, I should get a very similar result in terms of my Osu aim. Um, although there are many other factors such as you know the tablet height and the pen weight and stuff like that but in general your aim should be the same if the tablet area is like the same so I wanted to make sure that the tablet area is the same so that I could get a reliable understanding of whether the tablet is working as intended or not now that was a very tricky one because the G430 tablet and the Wacom tablet drivers are obviously 
is completely different. So what I had to do is I had to bring out my ruler. I had to like make sure that my dimensions were exactly the same. I found out that my um, dimensions were 9.7 centimeters by 6.5 centimeters. In order for me to replicate that, I had to measure that dimension by ruler from my G430 and then copy that exact area onto the CTL472 driver which allowed me to you know, change the um, tablet area and everything. And I also practiced with CTL480. Um, the reason was that I had to make sure that um, it was using the same driver as the uh, CTL472. Basically what happened was that um, I felt that initially the tablet had tracking issues and I wasn't too sure whether that was because of the tablet itself or because of the tablet driver. So what I did was um, I brought up my CTL480 setup and then played with it for a while for about an hour and a half and then turns out that uh, I was just really rusty with the whole CTL480 and then the Wacom pens and everything. Although it shouldn't really make that much difference but it still somehow did. And then um, I switched back to CTL472 and then basically my aim came back to me. So um, what was perceived as like a tablet slash uh, driver issue was pretty much uh, gone as soon as I spent more time with it. So if you're having any issues with it, I would just pretty much suggest that you spend more time with it and pretty much basically hashtag play more. Oh my god, my nerves are getting the heck out of me. Oh, and yeah, um, no matter what tablet I use, I think my Parkinson's is going to be here to stay forever. So to wrap up for the final verdict, this tablet, I would give it a solid 4.5 stars. The build quality of the tablet body is really nice. The pen quality can be a little bit questionable, but that's just me being a little bit sensitive about it. Um, everything else about it, pretty much like the driver works well, the pen recognition is nice. Um, yeah, like for the price, which is around 60 to $70. I bought it in Korea, so the your mileage may vary. And the CTL 480 is no longer in production, so the price is like skyrocketing, etc, etc. So if you're looking forward to a replacement for CTL 480, this is your bet. If you want it, go buy it. I can pretty much almost guarantee that you'll have a very similar experience. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this review, please feel free to hit the like button and consider subscribing to see more also related contents in the future. Oh boy. Okay, now I can finally go to sleep. It's 8.50 a.m. Oh my god. Ugh. I'll see you guys later. Take care, bye-bye.